Hi everybody, in this video segment, we're going to talk about the requirement for circuit breakers to have hold down kits in Enphase systems. At the end of this video, you should be able to describe what a circuit breaker with a hold down option is and why it's important and required in Enphase solar and storage backup configured systems. In the National Electrical Code, NEC 408.36D tells us that plug-in type overcurrent protection devices or plug-in type main lug assemblies that are backfed and used to terminate field installed ungrounded supply conductors shall be secured in place by an additional fastener that requires other than a pull to release the device from the mounting means on the panel board. What this tells us is that plug-in type circuit breakers like the one I'm holding here if installed where there is power that is being backfed through the breaker going back onto the bus, must have a fastener to secure the breaker. This is a safety issue, and here's a way to think about it. If in an electrical panel, in an electrical panel with just load breakers, if a breaker were to come loose or removed hot, the breaker and the connected wiring would be de-energized and be electrically safe. However, if we have a power system where we are back feeding power through the breaker and onto the bus bar, if you remove the circuit breaker, the breaker and the wires are now potentially hot and dangerous. So the National Electrical Code addresses this by indicating that a circuit breaker and a fastener to hold down that breaker should be installed for any back feed applications using plug-in circuit breakers. Now, why didn't we have to do this before? Solar installers may be wondering why they need a hold down kit now when they haven't had to use one before. It's confusing since all solar PV systems do have the ability to back feed power, so why has this changed? NEC 705.12E describes why. NEC 705.12E says, listed plug-in type circuit breakers backfit from electrical power sources that are listed as interactive shall be permitted to omit the additional fastener normally required by 408.36D for such applications. So grid-tight systems are designed to stop producing any power when there is a loss of the grid signal. The NEC provided an exception for the need for circuit breaker hold down fasteners because in an interactive system or grid tight system, if the breaker comes loose or removed, the solar PV system will stop producing power and the breaker people and environment uh, would be safe of live electricity. Now, Enphase backup capable systems with the latest IQ microinverters and IQ batteries are multi-mode capable, meaning they're able to function as a grid interactive system just like before, but also work as a grid independent system with the ability to output power even if the utility grid signal stops. With these new multi-mode capabilities, Enphase systems running in grid independent mode must ensure safety by ensuring all backfit circuit breakers are secured with hold down fasteners, making sure there's never a possibility of a live breaker loose in the hand of a person. To summarize, in systems where there are backfed circuits, those circuits have to be protected by a circuit breaker which must have a fastener. What type of breakers do we need for an Enphase system specifically? We're going to cover that in the next video.